Hopefully, is he in front of the other one? He is. Maybe he's not gonna stop. Says feeding, so we should be okay. So we've once again cracked out the all ARs loadout from our gun safe, and we're bringing it here to take on Verhunga Savannah and see if we can find anything special like we did last time on Silver Ridge Peaks. And from the very beginning, we get to see one of the things that makes this loadout, I think, a little bit more balanced for this particular map. Obviously now, needing to use the 308 for Gemsbuck, we just get a little more utility out of that. Now the question is, can we get a frontal hard shot? For one, its head's entirely in the way. Oh, we can! Actually pretty darn impressive from the 308, so good to know that's actually a possibility. You'll probably notice a theme, by the way, with some kind of desert camo on all of our ARs today, just to kind of blend in here on Verhunga. But then starting off with a barely gold Gensbach, 276.69, makes it by all of about 0.3. Heart shot, though, barely. Not as if we're not okay to hit a lung doing that, but we're just at the top part of the heart that is the furthest forward towards the neck where that impacted, so I wouldn't expect it to happen every time, but at least we know we can do it. Now, as per usual, with a loadout like this, we like to try to take advantage of the fact that we've got semi-automatic weapons and can take down a number of animals quickly. I think a lion is trying to mess with our Gemsbuck here. So we're gonna get what we can. Oh, that one's gonna get away. And I guess two are gonna work. We dropped that one? Oh, I did use the 300. That would be part of it. Still used to that being a thing. And part of the reason that I used it is we're tracking a max system at Lion right now, and I kind of wonder if he is what was spooking our Gemsbuck. I don't see him. Oh, yes I do, and he is a mythical. It is a mile away now. Just behind that hill as well. Might take a moment, but I'd imagine we can get a shot at him. He's way out there now, but pretty much right at 300. And I was gonna maybe try to get a quick follow-up, but there was no doing that. He was out of there. But we got the lungs, and clearly still not used to Gemsbuck being class 6, because those two, the one was decent at level 4, definitely gonna be Silver's at best now. That would be the level 4, 306 score, and just double lung liver with the 300 drops them now. I think that does kind of show the change, because no way would that have dropped a Gemsbuck in the past with the exact same round. This one may have also dropped actually with just double lung. I didn't pay any attention. Did he go anywhere? A little bit, but not much at all. So anyway, two should have been golds that are now silvers, plus what is definitely going to be a gold lion. And hopefully, from here on out, only going to be using the ethical weapons. Lung and liver on that guy, 46.78 score. And I like the direction this is going. We're actually getting to use a couple of different weapons, even if one of them was by accident. Well, that's a good way to use the ARs. Level 5 Wildebeest, 38 to 42. I can't tell. I think that's just the small horns. It's a heck of an estimate, though. Maybe it's the bigger horns. Oh, boy. Uh, we just can't see it. I think we're going to be okay. I think that line's far enough away from the Wildebeest that that shouldn't impact anything. Just want to get up here where we can actually see them and actually get a shot. Okay, it's that one there. I still can't tell. I don't know if we'll be able to see through the scope either. Yeah, that's small horns. So, will it be spooked pretty quick? We're going to have to make fairly fast follow-up shots. Let's start with him, hopefully when he's not moving. Oh, that was high. I guess we got spinal cord. And just like in the case of the Gensbuck, missed the second shot. The only good thing is this time we used the proper weapon. And level 5 will beast not only with that score, as meant just in general with the level, our guaranteed diamond, so we'll take it. So looking like, our level 5 didn't run terribly far, and of course this one, I don't know if it was a 3 or a 4. Wait, hold up. We clipped the lungs? It was 262, I thought we were way too high, and we were zeroed for 300. Kinda lucked out there, not that it makes a huge difference, but we'll certainly take the gold, and we do see the vital blood that is going to confirm. That will be a diamond wildebeest, even though, not exactly a monster. Bighorn's Diamond Wildebeest are one of my absolute favorite things in the game, so seeing that as I was hopeful, I'm imagining he'll be in the mid-38 range. 38.43, 277 kilo, double lung, and a little bit of the right leg, I guess? 
Interesting how that worked out. But not too bad. I suppose we'll tax that and maybe put it in the second trophy lodge. Nice little 308 AR trophy. Are you serious? That is a Bighorn's Diamond Wildebeest. And, uh, thought the last estimate was good. 39 to 44? They're alert, or at least he is. I'm again going to wait for him to stop because we do not want to mess that up. Hopefully, is he in front of the other one? He is. Maybe he's not going to stop. Says feeding, so we should be okay. That'll get those two. Honestly, I couldn't even focus on another one. That is really, really cool. So that, in all likelihood, is going straight to the main lodge. Literally back-to-back -back herds. And this is, you know, one of the changes to Verhunga Savannah. All the way back with Revan Tuli Coast, the population redistributions, and the zone time changes and such. The wildebeest drink in the daylight and feed in so many new locations, you can actually run into them just while hunting through the fields. The last one, not necessarily a special kill. Smaller diamond will be shot pretty often. This, on the other hand, we don't see all too many of them. Just one of the coolest looking horns. Like the mass and stuff. In my opinion, of anything here on Verhunga. Still, oh my goodness, that is such a shame. He's max weight. I want a 40 score so badly. I just think it's cool. I don't know why. But I want a max score of Wildebeest, and we've never had one. This is the third or fourth max weight one I've shot. And that's probably the lowest of the max weight scores. 39.79, 0 0.21 shy of max. But just an incredible looking Wildebeest. Still, as many as we've shot, and as much as we keep coming back here trying to get more, I just think they look so impressive when you get that view of them. I'm hoping one day we get Wildebeest True Racks. Maybe, you know, different variations of a very similar frame. It could just be amazing. But, still got to make use of the fact that we had an AR on us. Not really sure where the other one went. Didn't pay any attention whatsoever. There he is. And I'm noticing a bit of a trend here. I think over on SRP, when we used this loadout, I can't say we got back-to-back -back diamonds. But in very short order, we killed two Diamond Plains Bison. With the 300 AR. We also had in that video an albino bison, so I'm not sure where our rare here on Verhunga is, but maybe we can find it. So calming things back down a little, got some spring buck in here, and I would like to use the 223 a little bit. That's the biggest one there. So if we try to get him, it's gonna be weird because the next, okay, he stood up, maybe that'll work. Trying to get him from bedded would not have worked, that hit. Well, now we shot a couple of them, so we're gonna see what happens. So we've got two different things of vital blood, or maybe three. Now, how do we do that? Because that black brown that ran across, we somehow caught it in the vitals, I guess? Is it this one here? Wait. That, it's a weird looking pose. That's when we shot it when it was running. So we accidentally hit it in the lungs instead of what? Was it in front of the second four we shot? I have no idea at this point. Might take an instant replay or something to figure that one out. And then the other two are laying literally side by side. So that works out. Seems like we always have stuff like this when we do the ARs loadouts. Just some kind of crazy accidental lucky shot. Like, uh, how about that there? <laughs> Just happened to get center punch the lung. Complete luck. 66.76 score. And then the big one. Actually, is smaller than the last four somehow at 65 score. Not the only normal shot that occurred there, and yet somehow we got all three. So something I do pretty routinely ever since getting the two rare green wing teal over on Mississippi is when there's ducks landed, try to scan through and make sure there's no rares. I don't see anything special here, but we're still going to try to use the 22 and plink a couple of the drakes, and it might only be a couple. The one negative to the AR-22 is, of course, what is that guy doing? The uh, limited capacity of 5 compared to 10 of the Virate. Still not sure that would have helped us, but I suppose we'll take 2 because we finally get to use the 22. And we even get to wait as they float over here. So that first one was a gold, 828. I think a smaller one here, both the brown variant. But at least we got to make some use of the 22. Looking like that flock's just kind of migrating right now. So I'm guessing we can't just sit here and wait on those. They could end up spawning and landing around here, but 
if we can't spot them, my guess would be they're just gonna keep on flying in a straight line. And what more fitting way to bring an AR hunt to a close on Verhunga than with Cape Buffalo? Now, I don't see anything big. Probably, I think there's only the two males. Now, that guy's alert, so I guess we'll start there, move across to the left, and just sort of figure it out from that point. I don't think we hit that one. That's another male, though. So I think we got the three. Got a couple of aggressive ones. So this could be interesting. The best news is the host of this server did leave. Are they gonna get stuck on the water? I thought they would continue to charge. That's a bummer. Somehow missed the brain shot there. Maybe that'll bring her across. But as for hunting pressure, we will be okay adding additional pressure because the host left and is not gonna hurt their map. Otherwise, I would just let those go. But this is the perfect situation and the one hunt using the ARs, where we actually want to do stuff like that. So now in total, I think we shot something like five capes. Got that one in the brain just fine. This would have been one of the first ones we shot, if not, oh, what the? That one got absolutely peppered with 223 rounds at some point. That happened last time. Last time we were on Verhunga, it wasn't like an ARs only hunt, but we had, I think we had the 300 AR. We shot one that had been peppered with 270 rounds. What are the odds? I'm kind of wondering, do we get four or five? Because this one we hit three times. That's the female that was standing there against the water, though. But that blood disappeared. I don't even see the tracks, but I know there's at least one more, if not two. Pretty sure this is the only other one that we got. I can't tell. He looks like he was maybe just alert the way that he's standing when we shot him. So I'm not sure which one ended up getting away, which one we got. Either way, didn't make a huge difference. And now we're going to go ahead and take our Diamond Wildebeest back to the Trophy Lodge. And I think probably the perfect thing to take down is one of these old Diamond Goats. So that one would be the smaller one. Might need to try to get an eventual maybe Rare Wildebeest or something up here next to it. But I do think that's going to look a whole lot better. So what pose do we want to do? Maybe... Honestly, straight on looks pretty good. Yeah, I definitely think a second Wildebeest there would look quite nice. So maybe that'll be a future goal. Get back to Verhunga probably with the same loadout, because for whatever reason, it sure seems to bring us some good luck. Two Diamond Wildebeest today with 308. We used the proper gun when it came to getting those, unlike the Gensbuck early on. And pretty cool to get out there on Verhunga Savannah and do that once again. I do intend sometime in the fairly near future to do a fishing and hunting in Africa video. Obviously, the hunter and the angler both combined, maybe that can be our chance to get back after the wildebeest. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.